Okay, so, um, hey guys, this is Jordan, and this is the first time that I've ever done something like this before. So, uh, basically, long story short, um, I think you guys already know, I've kind of been getting into the tech game a little bit, kind of getting up to date with what was going on. For the longest time, I didn't pay attention to tech at all. I had my iPhone, it turned on, turned off, did my iMessage, that was it. I didn't need any um, big features, or I wasn't interested in all like the crazy things that were going on in the smartphone world these days. But as you know, lately I've been making videos, so I've just naturally just been in touch with what's going on. And I, I guess, for context, I haven't been up to date with what Google's been doing with the Pixel line since the 4. I think I heard some news about the 4A, how it was budget, the 5 came out, didn't even know. And then I didn't even realize it either, either but they came out with a 6 or a, or a 5A as well. I had no idea this stuff was happening. So while I'm doing my thing, Google's releasing all these phones. So I heard about the Pixel 6 uh, this morning. Today's Wednesday. It was announced on Tuesday. I didn't know this existed until this morning. So I tried all day to avoid listening to the news and listening to whatever was going on so that I could just sit down read an article like literally a few sentences of an article and then check out the google commercial because yeah i could open up a youtube you know from other from another tech channel and they could be you know I, we can watch their coverage on the phone but i just want to look at it just look at the commercial take it in and then um <clears throat> just say some of my opinions along the way so uh yeah that's basically what's going on with this video uh i guess just you know i, I pulled up this article here just as like a super fast recap um Google's Pixel 6, Pixel 6 Pro make their debut Tuesday during Google's Fall Pixel event, showcasing the new Android 12 phone's cameras, which I heard was a big deal, by the way, and <clears throat> their Google-built sensor chip, or Tensor chip, and a Pixel Pass subscription bundle, among other reveals. So, cool. Uh, so far, what little info I've seen about the Pixel 6 is very positive. Everyone sounds really happy about it, so... I want to get in on it too. And, you know, as you can see, I, I watched like a few seconds of like the original clip, but uh, I want to do this like step by step with y'all just because, um, <clears throat> you know what? I'm probably not going to have Pixel 6 money this year. And I'm not, I don't care. I'm not ashamed about it. I don't got Pixel 6 money to spend. So in the meantime, I'm going to look at the commercial for two minutes, three minutes, take in some of the thoughts about it and see what's going on here. So uh, I've got the commercial pulled up here. I'm surprised it only has 360,000 views, but hey, whatever. <laughs> I guess that YouTube coverage is good enough for them. So that's fine with me. So let's see what's going on. Meet the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro. At its heart, the revolutionary Google Tensor, Google's first chip. Real quick, just quick thoughts about this, man. I am so excited that Google is uh, working on their own processor, and I'm really excited to see where that goes. In my opinion, there's so much more power to the whole development process when you own the chipset, you own the software, you own the hardware. There's just so much power in that, and finally, um, not saying that Android phones do not compete with Apple right now, but now they can compete with Apple on an equal level. Apple makes their own processors, they make their own hardware, they make their own software. Google can now do that same stuff, and I expect to see really, really great things out of the future of this uh, Google chip, Tensor, I believe is what it's called. Who knows? Maybe they may be able to um, license this uh, chip to other manufacturers, and I'm really, really excited for the future of this. So yeah, this the Pixel 6 is great. Everybody should be so much more excited that Google's actually able to pull off their own uh, processor because that is, in my opinion, way bigger of a deal than they just releasing another phone. The way you want it to. You choose when apps can access your camera and mic and turn them off whenever you want. So real quick that you choose apps can access a camera and mic. Thank you, Google. But that's something that's existed for a while. But hey. <laughs> Just wanted to throw that out there. Everything you need, right when you need it. Put your Pixel Buds in and drop into a recommended... I want to try the Pixel Buds as well. Max your time. Go to the... I've been... I've used the AirPods for so long now, and um, I was one of those people that when they were talking about, oh, we're getting rid of the headphone jack, I was one of those people, oh, how, how could you get rid of the headphone jack? How could you possibly get rid of the headphone jack? That's so horrible, blah, blah, blah. And then I got a pair of AirPods. And since then, I have never missed my headphone jack. 
most fluent phone and can translate your messages as you type. So it works in pictures too. All I can think is, man, if Google is the king of software in this aspect, they need to double, triple, quadruple down on that kind of stuff. Which, don't get me wrong, I'm glad to see that they're showcasing these features in their commercials. Like, hey, customers, like our phone's a, you know, a little bit smarter, has different software tricks than your average phone maker. And that's something that I think that Google has up their sleeve for sure. Like that's such a good uh, marketing point for them to have. And I'm just curious if the average consumer is gonna catch on to that and value that piece as much as, you know, anybody that knows how useful these features can be. So <clears throat> I'm glad they're showcasing this Google Translate thing, even though it's been built into the Google app for like years or whatever. I don't care. I'm still glad that they showcased it anyway. And, you know, the average consumer should know this kind of stuff anyway. All without internet. <clears throat> the Pixel 6 was built to respect <clears throat> darker skin tones. I'm probably going to cut some of this out. I did see some headlines about the darker skin tone thing. And... All I've got to say is that is a really, really good marketing piece for them. Um, you know, as somebody who has like, you know, an alternative color skin tone, I don't look at that and say like, oh, I must buy this pixel. I must buy it right now. But this is the first time I've ever seen something like this marketed like, oh, like our camera is tailored towards skin tones and it's going to be able to, you know, amplify your skin tone or make your skin tone look better or whatever. I didn't even listen to the rest of it, to be honest. I probably should listen. But <clears throat> before I do, A, that's a really good marketing piece. I don't know if that's going to make me single handedly buy the phone, but um, B, I haven't seen anyone else ever talk about this regarding their cameras. Oh, you have a different color skin tone. Like, let's, you know, our camera adapts to that. Never heard that before. So uh, whoever did this marketing piece, good job. <laughs> Inclusive camera on a smartphone. Face unblur makes photos crisp and clear. Motion mode creates silky smooth long exposure shots. Ultra -wide Having that long exposure stuff built in is crew. cool. While magic eraser makes distractions disappear. It's like a photo studio. I wonder how the average consumer is going to get that to work. The uh, the disappearing photo thing. I'm so, so curious. <laughs> Just because I look at that and I'm like, like, of course it looks a million times easier in the commercial than it actually would work in real life. So I cannot wait to see how that'll work. Again, like I just said, I like Google and the way that they do software uh, for the most part anyway. So if anyone can do it, make it accessible for the average consumer, they can. So... Let's see what they got. Oh, and a phone. The Pixel 6 is highest rated for security, so your digital life is covered. And Security Hub puts all of your security settings in one place, so your. All right, Security Hub, Security Hub. I mean, <clears throat> to me, that doesn't look like a new feature. That looks like they just shifted around the menus a bit. Like if you look in here, um, you know, you see Play Protect will scan all apps. It already does that anyway, but it looks like there's like now a spot in the operating system for it. There's a separate spot for security update. Find my device. Your unlocks. I. That's a good move. I. I don't see anything wrong with that. That's a good move. Built with Google Tensor, personalized by you. Tensor. Only on the Tensor. first ever all Google. Phone. I cannot wait to know Pixel more about Tensor all and like its future. Cool. That's it. There's another one too. I kind of want to watch it, but so let's jump on their website real quick, just for like five seconds. Um, Pixel six. Let's check it out on Google's website. Let's see if they've got more on there, more that we should know anyway. So we have the normal uh, Pixel six here. Five ninety nine is not a bad price, not at all. Um, I <laughs> That's a good price. And then $8.99 for the Pro. I I guess they needed something in the in the you know 900 to a thousand range, I guess. So hey. No big deal here. But I mean overall, that video didn't give me too much of a look on the phone. The website definitely gives me a lot more details. And just quick thought, I love this color blocking style here just looks good and i'm surprised because google 
in the past with like other phones that they've built, they've always done like these little accents like on the power button and stuff like that. But this is the whole back of the phone. And obviously you don't like it, you can get a skin. I'm sure that uh, do it yourself people, they can probably swap out these custom plates. You know, there's so many smart people out there that know stuff like that. So overall, I love the look of the phone. Obviously this like big black window on the back, it is a little weird. It pops out, which I don't care about the general opinion. Me personally, I've never liked my camera lenses popping out from the body of the phone. Never liked that. Probably never will, but on this, what am I gonna do? Like, I can accept it for what it is. No big deal. <clears throat> Google Tensor, again, so excited about that. All new camera for your best photos ever. Obviously, from what we know, it's you know, a lot of the software that's that's propping this camera up, which, hey, I don't care how how the photos look good, whether it's software, whether it's hardware, as long as they look good, I don't care. So good job on them. <clears throat> Let's see, is there anything else that really sticks out to me? Not really. That disappearing feature is cool. I cannot wait to see more about that. And the software camera upgrades, again, I can't wait to see more about that. It makes me want to try a Pixel phone actually just for the camera itself, just for the camera, and then just for the um, the complete Google experience, them controlling the, the processor, hardware, software. I want to know what that experience is like so bad. So, I mean, this is pretty much it, man. There's nothing really too, too surprising other than that. Yeah, water resistant, we're used to that giant display we're used to that so a lot of this stuff is definitely industry standard but i'm really excited to try this at some point i don't know when i'll get the chance i don't know when i'll be able to but i'd love to at some point and also i want to try this like the 90 hertz 120 hertz display i'm sure that that is such a good experience to try and then something else i just noticed caught my attention first off 12 gigs of ram what is a phone gonna do with 12 gigs of ram I have no idea. And then the difference between the normal Pixel and the Pro. Tactile alloy frame, polished alloy frame. Sounds like it's just a finish. Sounds like they're both made of the same material, but just finished slightly different, which I want to see that. I want to know more about that. But um, overall, man, I mean, this phone looks like a really cool uh, release from them and I'm super excited to see the future of the pixel line one more thing I wanted to talk about is the pixel pass because I saw that pop up places let's see if we can see the consumer facing version of this uh, okay here we go <clears throat> so already from the jump it's $45 a month okay what do I get for $45 I get I'll have to look more into this but I guess a new pixel phone with upgrades every two years so i guess it sounds like it's a financing program of course but i guess you're getting software features built into that and by software it's just subscription so nothing crazy google one 200 gigs of cloud storage plus google store rewards 200 gigs of cloud storage you can't beat and i think they I think they got rid of the free photo storage, so this actually makes complete sense now, like, per their marketing move, why this would work. Preferred care, hassle-free hassle phone repairs, replacements, and more. That, it's insurance. Effectively, you have insurance built into that. That's cool. YouTube premium. I don't know about you. I cannot stand ads in my YouTube videos. I hate it. Yes, it pays the creators. Good for them. Jordan cannot do advertisements on my YouTube videos. YouTube premium or YouTube music premium. I've been trying out YouTube music for a while and I do like it, but I'm not getting the same satisfaction as I am from using programs like Tidal or Spotify. So I like it. I, I guess for somebody who's not bothered by YouTube music, I could you know, that would be a beneficial to me. And then Google Play Pass, hundreds of games and apps without ads or in-app purchases. I have no idea what that totally means because without in-app purchases, I mean, 90% of games you are progressing, you know, via in-app purchases. So it's like no in-app purchases up to $100, $150. Is it even a dollar amount? I have no idea. But overall for $45 a month, you get YouTube premium, you get YouTube music, 
you get 200 gigs of storage, you get the phone itself, and you get insurance on the phone. For $45, that's not too, too bad. It's not bad at all, to be honest with you. So, okay, and then that's just what I was thinking is, so what if I want the Pixel 6 Pro? Pixel 6 Pro, it's an extra $10 a month. So, I mean, for me personally, if I was a Google fanatic, this would be right up my alley. If I, you know, I, there was a long time back in the day, like um, maybe in the 2012 era, where people were obsessed with stock Android and were obsessed with Google Play Edition phones. So obviously, this would be super beneficial for somebody that still has that mindset today. I don't, I mix and match my services, I mix and match my phone. So for me, this isn't something that I'm like, oh my God, I have to get. But for those who love Google like that, this is nice. And you know, <laughs> who would really benefit from this is Apple, to be honest with you. Because if Apple bundled in all of these services into a monthly uh, premium, that, would pull a lot of weight for them. Apple Music, uh, Apple TV, and the phone itself and insurance all bundled into one monthly payment. That's amazing. So um, yeah, if they can get some form of streaming service on here that's not YouTube bundled into this, it would be a real killer deal and really hard to say no. But uh, other than that, man, that's kind of my response, my feedback to what's going on with this whole Pixel situation. So far, I like what I see. It's a cool situation that they've got going on here. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be on the lookout for some more good things out of this Pixel, uh, the Pixel 6, this Pixel Pass program. And most importantly, everyone should be most excited for the, uh, the Tensor uh, processor, man. The future with that in play. It's more competition's always good, so not everybody's on their toes. And I would not be surprised if Samsung comes up with their own custom processor over the next few years. And I'm really looking forward to see the future of that. But either way, uh, I'm getting out of here, man. I got stuff to do, so uh, I'm gonna get off this, edit this up, send it out, and then uh, I have another video I'm working on soon, the LG G8 that i'm working on right now and that's done actually i just have to edit it but when i saw that this came up i was like man i have to make a quick video on this so uh yeah i'm gonna send this out and i'm gonna get working on this and hey we'll see you in the next video